counter pick option here and well maniac uh, he had a, he had a tough game one to say the very least he ended up being focused a lot towards the end of the game with gravity surge and i wonder what's going to happen here is the Giannis will be the first ban and aries gets taken out again so really fanatic saying well we know kanye life is really good yeah so we're going to just go ahead and get rid of Ares, and now they have to get rid of Ymir, but they have to ask themselves if they really want to give up that Awelix again. I yeah. mean, they could definitely chance it. It wasn't like Repikos. Like, he just did Bare a wheelish thing. the right setup. But he, it wasn't like he was the backbone carry of the team. No, he for sure. set his team up, and I like this. It is the Awelish pick. But now Titan has to decide, do you first pick Ymir here? Uh, Ymir, Sylvanas, Athena, all very noteworthy here. Well, Titan, four. Repikos just goes... Um, I'm a juggler. I'll take this. See, the Awheel, I, I, I love the Awheelish ban because the Gab is a character that's going to work without that combo. Scylla really depended on that combo. And without the Awheelish, that sort of falls apart. They're going to go ahead and ban out the Awheelish. They pick up the Thor on Titan. Repikos plays a great Thor. Really able to just... that's that. If you're going to be a jungler at an SPL level, you have to have an above average Thor. Oh, yeah. No, your Thor has to be polished off and fresh. And I like what Fnatic is doing again. I mean, it wasn't that... Reels really did poorly on Apollo, right. but let's just give him the solid lane mm -hmm. once again. Oh, the mirror Apollo lane, can't. There's not so many things that beat that. Yeah. Honestly, well, it's also just really annoying to deal with. You, you get froze plus frost carpet, and then he just you see Apollo just gear up with the dual pistols, right? And it's like, okay, well, <laughs> there's three quarters of my health gone. You yeah. also get you also take it away from Kanye life right there. It's not always in the bands that you deny characters. You can also pick them out. Neath picked up for Titan. Now, is that going to go to Ataraxia again, or will we see Confrey acquire the I, Neath? I like this kind of flex picking yeah. material coming out of Titan. You never know where, like, what is going where. So the the Neath could very easily be mid. It can be solo. It could be duo. Like, it could go anywhere. Does it wants. Titan know at this point in time who that character is going to? Probably. Yeah. I mean, they they seem to be uh, like. Uh, so the one thing I've learned off Titan, off watching oh, these God. games, is the first game they first picked. Their jungler every single time. Right. And the second pick, it's usually it's their flex picks and their mid, right? So mm -hmm. I think they have a general strategy that they're yeah. going with as we actually see the Gab locked in. So that is your mere flex pick right there, jungle or solo. That, that's a that's Ooh. a jungle you marry. Where this isn't eager, bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Ca that's Captain Twig is gonna grab this Shamir and yes. just go bonkers with it in, in the jungle. Which Captain Twig with Bologna, he he had a very hard time getting started. And well, Scylla isn't exactly the easiest target in the world to gank. In, in theory, she is, right? You're like, oh, a little twelve year old girl with five hundred health or whatever it is, right? Like I can <laughs> looks eat gankable. You. Yeah, he looks gankable, but that's then. Enough. Uh, Sentinel comes out. Sentinel. <laughs> Sentinel. I'm Sentinel. actually, it, seems, it looks like uh, Titan actually bans out Vamana. I think they are purposely trying to take out comfort picks, and I love that. Yeah, Vamana is, uh, I mean, it's every solo. So it is the solo lane Thor, right? If you're yeah. going to be a jungler, you got to play as a Thor, as we said. If you're going to be a solo laner, you kind of have to be able to play Vamana a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an explosive mid game with a lot of setup. Sidon's beautiful pick here. Now, the last pick. That's what I want to see. I want to see another hyper carry go along with Fnatic as we Hades. Oh, no. That's for sure going to Adirax. Yep. Yeah. Now we know who the Neath is going to. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> that Neath will find herself in the long lane in the hands of Confrey, the oh, yeah. hunter for Titan. And the I, final pick here is, re is really going to come down to who Adirax feels like playing. Yeah. You know, support, hate, solo, raw yeah. middle, and Neath in the dual lane with yep. the Thor jungle. I, yep, I yep, like. Yep. Titan's lineup, we'll see how they transition that because you, I think Titan has a little bit of a problem that they have with the first game. Their lineup doesn't really scream late game. They have a lot of setup, they have a lot of utility, but they don't really have a lot of damage. So I think, I don't know, I'm looking at Fnatic's Ew. lineup. I think they have the edge here with this, the Hercules locked in. Well, this is what we said last time though as well. We're like, oh yeah, they have a <laughs> lot of health, but what, what's going to happen is, is if Pretty Prime gets ahead, I mean, that, this is just screaming Soul Reaver. Yes, absolutely. Right? I, I mean, no. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Hercules. Here's percentage damage. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye, Ymir and Gab. Get out of my face. The one thing I've also noticed: Fnatic loves beefy, meaty men. Oh, they yeah. just not even like that, but they <laughs> act like every single character they pick is is lined up with the mind of, hey, we want to stack health items, we want to yep. stack defense items, we want to be unkillable, and you can tell with Ymir, Gab, Hercules. It's now, with that, you do lose some damage early on, though. Is that worth the risk? You guys don't really go with that approach. You guys more are like, okay, we got uh, Cyclone went ahead and face rolled on Assassins and he locked in, and then you got Medusa, 
Yeah. And then everyone else just kind of does support. <laughs> I mean, really, like, Fnatic's team comp, I like what they're doing here. They just uh, emphasize on the fact that Zeros can carry and Reels can carry. Let's just help our boys out with the setup and be unkillable. So I, I think it's kind of like a similar strategy, just in a different way of doing it. So, yeah. Whoo! Starting off very aggressive here, coming out from Pretty Prime. Soul Stone, as well as Tier 1 of Book of Thoth. Could be Soul Reaver, though, as well. Uh, but he has no pots. A yeah. very aggressive start. I guess he's not afraid of Zeros that's, poking him out. That's actually the most star I've ever seen. Because <laughs> with that start, oh, not no, no, only... no, Oh, no, no, no. AK's more greedy. Look at Ataraxia. Oh. The king of greed is that's the golden sash. The golden sash. <laughs> That's almost as amazing as the uncommon stash. It's, it's, it's tier it's, one of that item. <laughs> so. I mean, let's take a look at the uh, common stash here. If we could hover over it just to see the stats on it. I mean, he's getting 30 magical power, 200 health, and 200 mana. Which, yeah. it, I mean, it's he a has whole no lot of stats. He's got, he's got one health pot, which you almost might as well have just went a mana pot at that point, right? Like, yeah. Hades doesn't take damage. He'll heal. Yeah, he'll heal it up, but this is... This is Titan flexing their guns. All I mean, eyes on Pretty Prime. Again, the, you know, originally I had I had chalked up the Soul Stone in the jungle heading to the mid lane as sort of a help out Scylla type deal, but Ra, the opposite end of the spectrum, super clear. Uh, but we still see Thor heading to the mid lane, and we still see that Soul Stone popping up on the mid lane. Well, it's really just because Titan likes to do this four-man yep. group up here uh, for the red, and you can just see as Pretty Prime is going to be able to acquire this as well, tag up this back line, and then roll back in, and that's really just because of the changes that we have seen. It's now 80 units instead of 60, so he's able to grab that experience, and he's going to lose a couple creeps here to the to the tower, but he'll make sure to soak up the archers in the back. The experience is really the, the important part that I'm going to be looking at. Last time in game number one of this two-game set, we didn't see the mage reach level five before yeah. the mid camps with this start. So I'll be very, I'll be looking very, very closely to see if Pretty Prime winds up being level five before the, that three-minute mark. I mean, that's probably why he didn't get any health or mana potions. He's having so much help from his team that, well, they're not going to really engage on four people, especially not a Thor. So I, I think he realizes that, and with their team strategy. It, it makes a little bit more sense, and I'm learning more and more things about the way Titan plays. They play together as a team, and it's oh, really yeah. showing. Repikos now has hit the rotation. Tectonic Rift, as well as the double tap. Badger, he shields himself. It's not going to be enough, though. Repikos almost able to secure a kill, but what jungler rotates over to the duo One lane before two minutes? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Would you, would you have been caught there? Oh, hands down. <laughs> hell yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Like, usually most jungler's goal is to, like, hey, I want level 5 before the mid-harpy fights for an explosive mid-harpy fights. Uh, the, this kind of gank before mid-harpies, it's kind of unseen of. You'll see a little bit of aggression from the jungler uh, if they hit level 5 beforehand, around the 2 minute, 30 second mark before mid-harpies start. So they'll try to keep the support from rotating. But besides that, you never see, like, the two-minute Thor coming through with a wham-bam happy ma'am. Like, that's unheard of. Because if that gank goes poorly, you're not going to be level five. And that, it's exactly. a dice roll. It yeah, is no. A... You, like, if, if that went bad, mid-harpies to Titan, like, I mean, to uh, Fnatic. You've and got that's to be it. kidding me. Repikas might be looking for a gank here over into the solo lane here. His Maniac is going to try to rotate. Atarax is going to gobble up all of the creeps. And now we'll oh. see Repikas rotate over. Captain Twig's in position. The wall comes up. That is guaranteed mid Harpy's secure for him, and he barely dodges the knockup from Hercules. Left-hand side, meanwhile, goes to Titan. No problem. First set of mid cams split down the middle. Mm-mm-mm. So, Titan doing a good job, at least early on, at securing one set of it. But already, I mean, you, you can kind of tell that we're going to see a lot of pressure coming out of Titan early on. They, they love setting the tempo. I want to see if Pretty Prime commits with this into a Book of Thoth or even like a Soul Reaver or if he goes into Boots. That's the one thing I'm waiting for because that, that star is already greedy as it is. So <laughs> imagine no Boots Raw like right? eight minutes in. I would lose. <laughs> well, well, Raw does have the Speed of Light passive. Tell him out, he hey, fast. If Very this true. was season one Speed of Light passive, you'd get away with Boots forever. <laughs> oh, you just fly. Yeah, dude. Make Mercury look slow. Ah, yeah. I like that play. Maniac had the back off almost fully wet. What's well, so a nine tenths of the way through? And Anorexia stops Whoa. it. And here no. comes the gang from Thor. It's enough. Con free winds up stealing the kill with the ultimate on the left hand side of the map. 
Downtown Funky Malone. Confrey cleans up the kill. And now you will just go ahead and watch him heal up the wave, <laughs> send it into the tower. You know, I, I started talking about how it just looked like a cheeky play. All right, you almost back. I'll throw the basic at you. Gotcha. You can't go back anymore. But then all of a sudden, all of the, the havoc rained down on Maniac, just looking very, very I, unfortunate. I mean, if you look back at that play, it was like, hey, you know, like, oh, I'm <laughs> caught. I'm going to, you know, Hades 3, the wave, and heal back up. And then immediately, boom, yep. you're dead. It's like, well, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, <laughs> and the, I'm just not going to do that again. <laughs> That's the same type of synergy we saw with the combination of the, the three characters from game one. Different characters, but the same mentality. I mean, you said it yourself. You're you're seeing it firsthand how this team has gotten the reputation of being the team's team. Really, no single player doing anything. I mean, they're they're playing hot in yep. the game to win. Yep. That's Titan. It looks like any kind of practice they've had, especially yeah. with team synergy, has paid off because they are looking good. And don't forget, whoever win, whoever 2-0s, if Titan wins this one as well as the first one, they're going to get the first seed, which means they get a bye uh, into the, the, the land, which is what you guys wound up getting last night. Yeah. yeah. Very, very important. Uh, guarantees a little bit of extra money as well as an easier path to the grand finals. They always want to make sure you secure that. So taking a look at the build here, we do have the Warlock Sash being finished on Ataraxia super early here. He'll probably have this full thing stacked up as he's going to get interrupted with the driving strike. And now he will just heal up off the <laughs> wave. And, well, Hades doesn't really take damage. But the one thing I want to point out here is that Confrey has elected to go into Dev Gloves instead of the traditional Heart Seeker that we always see on Neath. Uh, what, what's he kind of looking for here, Allied? Well, I, I think Comfrey realized that Hang will be farming out. He's going into an early Ichabal, and believe it or not, the Heartseeker Os build isn't as strong as the Devo Gloves Ichabal build, especially with the attack speed nerfs. It, it will actually power spike better going into the mid to late game. So, er, like, early game, you might see a little bit of a DPS increase, Oof. but Ooh. whoa. Searing pain just off the mark there. Crack, it's going to miss as well. Confrey now spots a badger. He's trying to use the Gold Fury as protection. Not enough. Pretty Prime force all the way out. Drops down the heel, groups up the team, but Titan was able to come out on top in that engagement. I loved everything I saw there. The, the Pretty Prime depended on the stun to hit to go ahead and ult, just trusted it was going to happen. Whether or not it did, different story. As we see Fnatic taking out the right-hand side, Phoenix, uh, Harpies. But cool, cool, cool move. Neath backflipped to avoid the Titan, to avoid the Kraken. Hits the weave with the arrow instead of the player, knowing yeah. that it's going to AOE damage. Oh, he almost got that max range double tap there. That was <laughs> almost scary. Yeah, I mean, Neath is all about space control yep. and really zoning in fights. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. She can change the pace of a game with an AOE weave. You get three people in that, oh, that's yeah. a team fight in your favor. Oh, yeah. Maniac using the hand of the gods to clear up the wave and... He's going to go ahead and push out of this one. Head back, grab, probably teleport, I imagine, will be the active that we will see Maniac acquire here in this game. I mean, that seems to be his, like, bread and butter. Hog, teleport, teleport. I mean, <laughs> as long as he's filling up the second active. Well, that's my only complaint, because I, I think he's amazing as a, uh, like, as a player. I think individually he is strong. It's just, uh, I think a second active is stronger. That's it. Well, he's... Got hand here. He's got stun of the guy, which is going to help him get some magical protections going up against the Hades. But right now, Fnatic kind of all grouping on the left-hand side of the minimap. And that really just means you can tell that the battle for vision has started. And now they're going to be looking for this Gold Fury. It's going to happen. I mean, we're about a minute 30 away. Stun coming out as well. Pretty Prime barely Ooh. missing the ultimate. And now they will back it up. The fortunate thing for Pretty Prime is that it is on a low cooldown. Kraken's going to miss again. And now Celestial Beam will come up. Eyes on Repikos. He's in the sky. Where is he going to come crashing down on? He goes right down into the middle. Throws out the hammer. Tectonic Rip falls it up, but he's in trouble. Captain Twig secures the kill. Defender of the Olympus puts Kanye Life in a lot of trouble. And down he goes. As now Confrey in the thick of it. Driving strike back into the Beautiful. team. See you later. Exactly what you want to do as a rotating Hercules. Moves the opponent into where they don't want to be. Bottom side of your map, you see I mean, I mean what, what's Hades possibly going to be able to do there here? There it is. He's Reels just got to live. Oh. Yep, nope. yeah. Reels gets the kill onto Pretty Prime. And as you said, Hades, he's got to live, but can he's he? He's got the dash. Yeah, there he's fine. Big deal, big deal. Now, Fnatic's going to just immediately turn around. Gold Fury is already down as they take in that objective. In the middle of all of that hoopla, they take four kills, a Gold Fury, and the lead. 
I mean, really, the turning point for that fight was Repikaz. So, like, Raw ult was 100% down. Repikaz still decided to go in. Ult in, but it was kind of by himself with yep. no real backup, especially no Raw ultimate. He kind of sealed his fate with the suicide there. And they were able to clean up one by one after that. I mean, uh, Titan wasn't really in a good spot to kind of re retaliate. So, I, I think the better option for... Uh, Titan there would have been to, hey, let's back up, regroup, and get everyone together so we can re-engage, and Fnatic just capitalized, and like I said, each one of those kills were one by one. It just, it didn't happen all at the same time. It looked like uh, Titan was a little bit unorganized there, and that might as well cost them the game. I mean, that's yeah. a huge swing. That was a huge swing and gold. Swing. And nine times out of ten, that's a done game. Captain Twig trying to chase down Repikos there. He did have a relatively vulnerable raw who has now elected to go into CDR boots here. Uh oh And the freeze comes out, Tectonic Rift will follow it up. Ataraxia, he hits his ultimate, now Kanye Life on the backside. Siri Payne hits, Berserker Barrage in the middle of two. Captain Twig running for his life, the boulder comes out, Maniac trying to live, but he will pay with his life as Ataraxia cleans him up. And what looked like a good fight at the beginning for Fnatic based on the freeze from Ymir, it ended up being soiled by the strength of Thor. You know, I'm kind of okay with that. Hercules dying to save the jungle, Ymir. I I'm okay with that. Hercules can get a little bit behind. You know, he he's supposed to be just the meat shield. And right now with the Stone of Gaia online, he already is. If you keep a Ymir jungle down, it's really hard for him to climb out of that hole. I mean, you got to look at it this way. Soul length, guaranteed farm jungle. Exactly. Well, that can get taken away. So I, I do mm -hmm. like the uh, noble sacrifice coming out of Maniac there exactly what it was just driving strike in there and said run buddy run you fool <laughs> taunts good celestial beam hits as well and pretty prime out of mana here he doesn't have the sustain at least for mana uh, with the vampiric shroud not being on his kit he has soul stone so he's not getting replenished for last hits now uh, really i think the difference in kind of like the the telltale sign of why he decided to go into the cdr boots was based on that last fight i mean raw has a very very short cooldown on his ultimate so when you go ahead and you build like full cdr with him i mean you just get it at least twice a team fight i mean it, it becomes almost a basic ability with full yeah. cdr able to dish it out and for example uh that one team fight where titan threw where he ultimate like he used his raw ultimate a little bit prematurely mm -hmm. well with full cdr you throw out three ultimates in a fight, yeah, right? and it doesn't matter. Yeah, so. you, you just light it all up. You're like Cyclops from X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> just pulling down your glasses, blasting everything. Now, Cyclops. he does have the soul trap here, so most likely, it, it, I think it's going to be a soul reaver here on this one. This is way too tanky of I a agree. fanatic squad to I mean, warrant going Book of Thoth. I mean, we'll see the pace of the game Titan wants to set here. It could be a, far, a little bit more farm. I mean, Thoth, we've seen before like you can pick it up third or fourth on mm -hmm. like the item build and b it's a good item to stand alone the bulk so. of the damage from book of toth really comes out of the, the actual item not the stacks the exactly. stacks are almost superfluous unless you're kugel khan then math gets interesting with the passive but beyond that uh, it, the majority of it comes from yeah, the book well, itself kakulkin been getting ready to come back into the meta bruh oh, uh oh man. that time we did see pretty prime hit the ultimate con free gets credit for that one with a couple of hits from the long range ult out of the Neath. Yeah, ne Neath ultimate really just helping out everything for this oh, yeah. team. It's just adding another form of setup and really Pretty Prime is not relying on the setup. It's just adding to his already inherent skill, which is really, really beneficial for him. So Tectonic Ooh. Rift's gonna miss Badger, but you can see as the dash was charged up on Kanye life, that they were willing to fully commit to that and Pretty Prime will be able to just clear this fully out as Ra, he's he's one of the safer mages, and he doesn't even have an escape. Oh, now, yeah. Now, let me ask you, Allied, about these these mid camps. Uh, so, we always stress 369. How important is this fourth mid camp? Because we just saw Zero's back. He was not interested in picking up these camps at all. Usually, after the third mid camps, it, because people start getting their items done, right. and because of levels and different objectives on the map, it really comes down to well, can you actually afford to do a full out team fight at this time? Or can you not? And depending on the situation and depending on the calls is when you determine, hey, well, you know what? If they want to fight head on, let's let's go. We got Fire Giant right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Like we can do it. So it, it really determines on where you. So it almost sounds like it's more risky to go for the mid harpies around, you know, like the 12 to 15 minute mark because if you get wiped, that's Fire Giant. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there's been so many times where I've had to eat. Like, well. We have to let them have mid harpies because Goldfear is up and I have to back and we can't really afford the fight right now. 
Like, it's, it's situations like that where you have to discuss with your team. When is it actually okay to go for mid harpies and when is it okay to actually back? There's, there's a lot of different variables that go into team comms, especially for, for different teams. It also depends on your team composition as well. The vision battle has come out. I want to check out Golden Hand here as we have 1,200 in Gavin, 1,200 on the Raw. So he's getting eerily close to being able to finish up that final slot here on the Soul Trap. But the big thing here is Maniac, right? He, he still only has level one of an active... And we haven't really seen a lot out of it. Defender of the Olympus is going to try to come in, but not in time as the Kraken will eat him up. Repikos now followed Slow up by down. Pretty Prime here. So beautiful hits as well. Pretty Prime's going to pay with his life. That's a double kill for Zero. It's a very quiet day from the mid laner mm -hmm. for Fnatic. Really didn't do much on the scoreboard in last match. This time around, picks up a double kill just 15 minutes into the contest. Very, very tur good turnaround for him. 303 slash line. Definitely a different game than the first one for Zeros. I Let's mean, get... right there, Replicas just got caught, and it's yep. going to cost them Gold Fury once again. And that's the second time they're actually giving up Gold Fury because Replicas got caught. Dash comes in. Boulder's going to secure it. Titan has destroyed the Gold oh. Fury. They get the steal. Kanye Life is screaming worth. Atarax is probably going to die here. He's got the heal up. Confrey's going to oh. throw down some damage, but it's not enough. As now Repikaz, he, he's joining the fight. There's no way they're going to try to fight this, though. He comes crashing down, though. He's a madman. Dragon Beautiful. Strike into the wall. Zeros turns around. You're going nowhere, Thor. Great, great, great heads up play by Maniac. His mid laner was dead. Maniac, oh, yeah. one more time, comes through in the clutch, hits the driving strike, the perfect one. If it was anywhere else, the player wouldn't have died. Yeah, uh, I mean... Right there was just beautiful kind of peel for his mid laner. Maniac being very disciplined, knowing, hey, well, you know, you're going to try to kill my mid laner. I'm going to yep. definitely kill you. But I would like to point out that the Raw actually did finish uh, Book of Thoth. So now he is going to be slightly stacking on that. And he actually got Sprint to most likely going to turn into a Heavenly Agility. Um, maybe that'll help his team out. But right now, I think the story is that I feel like Replicas is getting picked a little bit early in these team fights. Yeah. He's going in his team isn't actually there to help support him in these fights. And it's, it's showing. I mean, he's the first one picked, and they're forced into a 3v5 or a 4v5. And I feel like Titan, where they could have the no! oh, beautiful snipe. And those, you can tell the, the effect on the mid harpies when they get hit by a raw snipe. They'll, they'll sort of sizzle like they were on fire. No question there. We do see Pretty Prime take those harpies away from Fnatic, clean and clear with the ultimate. I mean, that'll be up in 30 seconds anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right? out there. Yeah, exactly. go, go ahead and hover over Pretty Prime here, and we'll see how fast his ultimate's going to get ready to come up. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 <laughs> seconds. It is, and that's not even full CDR. Uh, he now he, he has a bunch of options. Right now, he could feel like he's doing enough damage, and we won't see him go into any penetration, which mm -hmm. definitely warrants it because Ataraxia does have some damage as well. Or he can go into just full CDR and finish the Kronos and get 75 magical power anyways. I mean, Hades does have Spear online. He could elect to do that. More right. CDR, more damage. There's a lot of different options. And by the way, Pretty Palm has been building and playing. I mean, he he's doing well to support his building choices. So oh, yeah. that's, it's really up to him. So the player damage here is 6,500 for Raw, followed up by Maniac and Reels. And wow. I feel like we haven't really mentioned Reels, and as you look at the slash line, he's 2-0-5. Oh, <laughs> I mean, he's just doing a bunch of things. Poking yep. in lane, <laughs> pressing rotating. Sprint. I mean, the, the Apollo ult alone is such huge global presence for these teams. But. I'm surprised at the Maniac. Maniac, to me, in this game, has been playing defenseman. He's just been showing up to protect his teammates. He's been doing what he can to, to really keep the spotlight off of everyone who's getting looked at right here and quietly has amassed a whole lot of player damage in doing so. Yeah, he's like an offensive tackle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much exactly yeah. what he's trying to do. He's just trying to protect his, his teammates that are actually doing the heavy lifting and in doing so, putting out a world of hurt on this Hercules. That boulder dishes out a lot of damage. Really, what's his final active going to be? What would you like to see? A weekend. Yeah. I mean, a weakening just for the sustain. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hades has sustain, Ra has sustain, and also Neath has a lot of sustain. But so weakening, I think, is the go-to. I mean, if you want to be like crazy, you can go Blink, Hercules, or Sprint. Girdle. But, yeah, Girdle. <laughs> Girdle always. <laughs> Dash in from Kanye Life. We're going to see a taunt, but a shield is going to protect Twig from any further initiation. Also, Zero shows his trident from the jungle and... Titan really afraid of anything else that they would see right there. They have engagement. a lot of counter-initiate now on the side of Titan here. You can see that the Heavenly Agility has been 
bought as well as tier one shell. So that's going to give them a bunch of protections already Ooh. in the team fights. And when it gets to improve shell, it's going to make a world of difference in these team fights. And Athena, who likes to be around all of her teammates, based on the fact that she has to taunt and with all the setup. I mean, when you look at Titan, they have a full commit team. Badger now in the thick of it. Now Kanye Live could be in a lot of trouble. Down nope. he goes instantly. Reels comes crashing down. Repikaz takes to the sky. Is he going to counter initiate or is he just going to get out of dodge? And he's going to come crashing back down into the middle of it. His teammates don't have the peel, but he does have the hammer. And now lingering on the backside will be Ataraxia, but... They can't really fight this. No surprise there, but hold that Whoa, thought. Captain Twig catches two with a freeze and a carpet. Zeros gets another kill for his troubles. Ataraxia is safely underneath the tier two. Fnatic will wrap around and head into the right-hand jungle. And they're looking to take everything they possibly can, but at 20 minutes here, this is screaming fire giant. That's what they're doing. They don't have Pretty Prime, who isn't going to bring a bunch, but like, you know, Kanye Life doesn't have Defender of Olympus on, so he has to walk all the way in here. And with this Fire Giant started up, they're going to have to commit. And one wall is enough to send Titan packing. They didn't even... Fnatic didn't even have a lot of damage on the Fire Giant. No. But Ymir just throwing out the wall saying, I'm here to zone, is enough to send Titan away. If they knew how much damage Fnatic wasn't doing to the Fire Giant, I, mean, yeah. I think they would have walked in anyway. I, I think it's just uh, scared off of previous engagements. Oh, yeah? Every single previous engagement beforehand, they've gone in 4v5, they've gone in 3v5, and has turned into a complete team wipe. Mind games. Don't want to chance it again with them also having the chance to get Fire Giant being a man down. They go for, I think, a safe option. Take, take, I mean, I, they also didn't have the vision to kind of cover a little... Yeah, Reels is getting his butt kicked. Fire Giant is actually, you know, <laughs> yep. messing him up. So yeah. they don't they don't have that kind of information to make those kind of decisions. So exactly. the safest decision for them would be Gold Fury, let's back up boys, we're hitting the towers. Pretty Pine looking for some guaranteed farm here, but he spots the Hercules and knows that if he gets plucked, he is dead to rights. And so he will just sit back, throw out his one ability and clear the full wave and sit back and just maybe rotate and grab the blue buff, but Maniac's gonna be there to zone him out. And that's Titan regrouping a little bit. They're going to go ahead and get what they can out of their own jungle. They'll try to sort of play triage with the vision that has been taken out by Fnatic. Fnatic picks up the tier one on the right side, and they're pushing into the mid, but Hades here, along with Athena, is enough to really stop that. But that gold fury even up the game as far as gold is concerned. Very, very smart play coming out from Titan to make sure they... Uh, treat all of their wounds. I mean, you don't want to give them everything. Exactly. And yeah. I think they realize that they have a couple of options here. So notice how Fnatic isn't grouped up fully. They're kind of just like still in that laning phase. They really haven't committed to a game plan yet. And Titan has the option. Do we pick someone off? Do we team fight under a tower? But we actually have Fnatic engaging here on middle. Captain Twig looking for it. He has the freeze on Pretty Prime. And Pretty Prime just going to eat it and walk back as the tier one will be taken. And now on the left side, Reels looking for the one-on-one. -on -one. Confrey will be able to backflip out neat, ever so safe. And she also has the best turnover rate for everyone who just started playing the game. Captain Twig <laughs> in enemy yeah. territory, but... <laughs> yeah, that, that's a stat. In the mid lane, we have a four-on-four -four grouping here. And while Pretty Prime is really going to be annoying to deal with just because of the sustain, you'll see him just be able to weather the storm. Kanye Life going to be separated out. Driving Strike back into a Kraken! See your life later, bro. No rewind for the Athena in this matchup. Three I mean, members of Titan still underneath the tier two. Doesn't matter though. Captain Twig's in. Woo! So is Geb. That's two stuns after one. And that's going to push the entire team of Titan onto their Phoenix. Uh, Fnatic staying aggressive. They want more than objective. They want the kills. Zeros gets one. Repikots get being here. aggressive as always. Doing nothing to Ymir. Yeah, Confrey wasn't able to rotate over there. He had to deal with reels. And now he's a little bit late to the party. And they don't have vision. So he couldn't even fire an ultimate. And now the tier two is going to fall. Tectonic Rift comes out. But at what cost? All the Man. while. Waste. Marcus. Reels. Oh, yeah. Taking no. out Re the Reels entire crushing. left lane. That's Apollo does what Apollo should do. <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> yeah? Would you have done that? No. <laughs> Would you have crashed into the team fight at the Phoenix? <laughs> Probably. And then died. <laughs> Get some more kills for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Cyclone, I, I got them all half health. Finish. <laughs> yeah, please. Cyclone, please. But I like the, uh, the... That's also an educated decision, knowing that he has the upper hand on... Oh, yeah. He does, at this point, Apollo does outscale Neath, especially with the 100% attack speed passive. 
You know, my boys are cleaning up middle. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this easy. Let me grab these towers by myself, and really, that's the signs of a great yeah. AD carry. Player. And Apollo also has a little bit more luxury because of the global ult. Obviously, the second things start turning bad or look like they can turn bad, your your friends just say in comms, "Hey." Reels, we need you. Oh, yeah. And you just mm. hit space, but well, I'm space, but hit four and you jump over to the mid lane with that ultimate and no problem. You're already there. So Apollo has a little bit more luxury in that regard as, as to be able to PVE a little. Bit. Yep. As we look at the builds here, improved show has been finalized here by Athena. If we could hover over that so the people at home could see the amount of protections it gives you. It gives you 45 magical and physical prots. Huge. Just in, as an active. I mean, I mean, that is nuts. The biggest thing here is for the past two engagements, Kanye Life has been singled out and just went in too early. It's it's kind of like the replicas of early game where going in, my team's not there to follow up, yep. I die. Mm -hmm. So maybe this team, I mean, I think Titan's a little bit on tail. They need a game plan on whether or not they can hold or else they're just going to keep getting run over in these team fights. And Fnatic Shocking. is doing a great job capitalizing on this. And notice the change of pace since last game. Right. Fnatic is the aggressor now. They are taking the objectives. They It's it's based on their terms. And Titan's having a really hard time responding to that. I'm not sure. Every Hades player builds a little bit differently, right? Like normally we talk about Cyclone, Omega, and Divius, but... We're seeing full damage boys come out of Ataraxi with a Rada Tahuti as well as a Spear of the Magus here. That's, he doesn't have a Breastplate of Valor or anything. That's nothing compared to Cyclone. Have you seen Cyclone's Hades build? <laughs> no, what is Book it? Book of Thoth first before <laughs> Boots. Then yeah. into Pen Boots, into Warlock Sash. The guy doesn't care. Fnatic. Yeah, that's that's the dream. Fnatic <laughs> starting this Fire Giant here, or at least pretending to. They want Titan to bite off more than they can chew, I think. Now, starting one more time, we'll see if they leash it. Or wait for the kill. Blinking over they the wall beats. is Ymir. Ymir is in a tight spot. He's in a Literally. very tight spot. <laughs> Up in the air, Trepikos looking for more. He'll land on... Mani Maniac with a beautiful driving strike into three members getting hit by the Kraken. Reels comes crashing down. Tectonic Rift buying him time. The improved oh God, shell adding the protections, but it's not going to be enough as Comfrey is going to get locked into the Whirlpool as Kanye Life now trying to run as Maniac and Geb are looking for Ooh. it to knock up into a couple Ooh. big club swings, curtains. Just enough standstill for Maniac to get that Earthbreaker. That is intimacy with the character. He knows exactly oh, yeah. how long that is. Very, oh, very cool fine. stuff. Especially knowing that Maniac plays on instant cast, he has to know that to a... Yeah, you used to play Hercules inch. at the beginning of Season 2. Remember when you were saying Hunters are dead? <laughs> <laughs> they are back stronger than ever now. <laughs> Woo! Fnatic picks up the Fire Giant 27 minutes in, and we're going to see the majority of the team on the right-hand side of the map. Reels will find himself picking up mid camps and what I would venture a guess to be the Gold Fury because he does have those Devo gloves allowing him to tank it by himself. Yeah, I, Poseidon's actually rotating up as well. So after he gets his red buff and then kind of wanders over there, he'll be able to help him out. But with Audacity triggered, I mean, he by the time he gets there, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Re Reels has got this finish and now it's all about pushing lanes and having every single wave pushed up to the point where they can just go well, left Phoenix, mid Phoenix, right Phoenix, and call it a day. It really depends on what Fnatic wants to do here with their lead. It's it's looking good. They have just the Phoenixes ahead of them. Do we do... Do we just... Uh, absolutely, do we keep farming? Do we get our items done? Speaking of items being done, we actually have reels. Not to finish his crit. I mean, he did go... He elected to go for Deathbringer first. Rage is about to be done. That's, that's pretty much... That's the ultimate gas pedal. When yeah. you have double crit online, two shot the squishy. So... It might finish that off, or do they dive the Phoenix? I mean, it's really up to them on how they want to end this game. They have full control of every objective. I love asking hunters this question. Deathbringer or Rage first, Allied? I mean, can go For Death you, personally. For me, I, I always try to get my Rage done. There you go. There you go. I feel like it's a bit one of those psychological questions, right? Deathbringer is, well, if I hit you, it's definitely going to matter. Rage? I'm definitely going to crit. You know, you sort of pick your poison. Yeah, I like the guarantee crit, but yeah. it really also depends on how much gold you have. If I can get Deathbringer done and crit too, then <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. just get Deathbringer done. Rage will be done very soon. So. Very true. I like I, I like it especially on the Apollo with the audacity. You're just hitting so often that you're rolling so many more dice than other hunters with that Deathbringer. Taunt followed up here. Hades with the ultimate. He's going to eat a crack and Ataraxia oh. is dead. And Already. the Siri Pain did hit, but the Fire Giant is going to be able to hit, heal him up just a bit. 
as now Reels was spinning around in the air. He'll come crashing down into the mid lane and just to really suck that up. And I mean, he's just burning mana right now. Taking a lap. <laughs> I think he knows. Taking a victory yeah. lap. Down comes Repikas on the middle of the team fight. He's already low using the hammer to escape. Stun coming out. Going to split up the team fight. Ymir, ultimate, just barely going to miss the Neath due to a great backflip. But Fnatic got what they came for, folks. The left Phoenix is down. And now it's all about the middle Phoenix here. The wall goes up, delaying them as well. And well, Reels, he's going to stack that passive up. You'll see both of his hands pull up, and then it's, yep, done. All she wrote. And now Athena, look at her health just get depleted. No longer standing. Confrey trying to Smack. 1v1. Ooh. He's able to get it. And now the follow up hits, and he will just eat this here as Badge is just trying to slow him down enough for the knock up into a driving strike into the wall, plus the boulder. Ouch. Dunzo. Ataraxia coming off the respawn, but at this point, he's just going to watch his team have to push out all of these fire minions. I, I like what Confrey did there, cheeky play, knowing that that's a lot of their damage, especially with double crit almost online. Oh, Taking yeah. out the hunter when you have like eight tanks on the enemy team is pretty much the dream. So now at this point, they can't push another Phoenix and they can't push the end, giving them another opportunity to maybe salvage this game yeah. but if i had to take a, a guess this is it, it's curtain i mean especially on the side of titan who titan has the raw my man titan has the <laughs> raw with the with, with the with the sustain so if fanatic gets a kraken off the mark or something if their burst damage is done the only sustained damage that they have is the hunter yes. with the basic attack so if titan gets the, a second chance at these engagements they have the upper hand. Your mirror ultimate's down. Your Kraken hey, is yep. down. Your Boulder is down. It's all on the back of real. So very important target selection coming out from Titan in that defensive maneuver. I think the, uh, I think as you would say, I thought we've been kind of sleeping a little bit on Zyros because he is quietly nine zero and eight. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've actually kind of missed over that. He's doing a lot of well, work. The Kraken's top fine. damage. The, the, the Kraken's were a little bit off. There's in that no game, number rewind. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to deal with the rewind taking him out of 20%, and then he activates his trident, and then, ah, uh, damn it. Yeah. Where was he eight seconds ago? Yeah, but, but you're, you're right. This is this is what we when you know, just quietly racking up this 908. All eyes have been on the the save the saving coming out from Maniac. Maniac really playing playing defense, as we said, and the, the important freezes coming out from Ymir, and Zero's just kind of capitalizing on it all, throwing out the important tidal waves and, and crippling people with the whirlpools and really making a name for himself in the second game. You know, there's sometimes I just look at this game and I'm like, man, it looks so good. And it's every <laughs> time I see Poseidon. Poseidon's a good looking guy. <laughs> he's, yeah, he, he's, definitely a, he's definitely a guy, that's Man. for sure. Or a thing. Yeah, uh, God. he's a guy. Yeah, he, he's a guy god. god G squared. <laughs> Pushing down the far right, Phoenix with the Fire Giant will be Fnatic. They win the vision battle, well, mainly because Titan they don't have the luxury of leaving their base yeah. from this point on. And Well, they have to really handle two initiations. They have the Blink Ymir, they have the Blink Geb. They have, and that's really what it's going to come down to. Captain Twig's going to jump in yeah. and just force all the beats. Reppy's already up. Oh, God. They're committing. He's That's an ethereal staff, Captain Twig here, and he's just getting melted. But look how tanky he is. He's still alive in this fight, buying his teammates time. The wall comes up, stopping him for the moment. And now Cataclysm, max range. Zero's Pretty prime died. goes down. Might have been a mistake there as they invested so much into Captain Twig, but he has so much health. But the important target selection one more time coming out of Titan. Uh, it's going to bring out hey. zeros, so no more cracking on the side of Fnatic. That said, Reels clings up Kanye. 51 crit, 684 hits on that one. Beads forced out. The wave's going to be pushed up, and he's going to be able to heal off of this. And now Ataraxia's coming in, and he's looking for it. The Gem Shield was beautiful, though, as Reels will be able to survive. Ataraxia now pushing back into the lane as he will look for comfort underneath the Phoenix, and he is forced to heal up. 95% health is this Titan and rapidly dropping due to the fire minions, which means they have to give up the Phoenix. A Titan has to play defense on, on the Titan itself because of the fact that Fnatic took out the mid and the left hand Phoenix, just funneling damage into that base. I do like what Fnatic is doing here. They're like, well, we lost zeros. I mean, he was doing the most damage for them. He is a big 
part Huge. of their burst damage, and they can't really push in any deeper, so they're just gonna go back, they get mid Phoenix again on respawn, and now it's it's pretty much, let's mm -hmm. wait for Zeros to come up, regroup, take a goal for your finish items, red pots are coming out, purple pots are coming out, and let's re-engage. With three Phoenixes down, it's the same situation as the first game, where can they actually defend that? They have to fight off their base, and that means even if they do fight off their base, the minions can still win the game. <laughs> Poseidon gotta go fast. Yeah. Gets the speed buff. <laughs> oh, it's, it's worth it. Weakening Five. Curse finally being finished up here by Maniac here, as well as a Pestilence. This is, look at the health. I mean, he's got 3,300 health on Maniac. If we could go to Ymir on Captain Twig, uh, you can see his health as well. It, it's going to be insane. 3,800! <laughs> We're seeing Captain Twig okay, just waving to the, the camera, bars. folks. That's a fat monster. <laughs> yeah, that's one big Norse god, bro. Thor's hammer couldn't even handle him. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, we just saw in the last sequence coming out from, from Titan is Captain Twig still waving at the camera. Repikas isolated hey, Ymir by himself and just took everything. Ymir's going to blink in, throw the ultimate. How fast it. will this Titan die? Well, it's already dead, folks. Very, <laughs> very, very fast. I Surprise mean, there wins. Was, there was no way... That they were stopping that assault. I mean